could women ever have to do with electricity and electrification. My name is Maddie Fowler and I did Story Plus summer 2020. Our electric circus team looked at papers from a specific woman named Louise and Mamer and she was an employee of the Rural Electrification Administration and helped to get electricity out to rural areas. In this archive, she personally kept all of her papers from her work in the REA. A lot of it took kind of looking between the lines of what was being said on the paper and thinking, well, how would this affect someone's life or what is really being said by this rather than just looking at this person as a set of documents to be looking at the person as a set of ideas and stories and reasons why these documents were created and that's what we were really looking for. Word of mouth was the most powerful way that women learned about electricity and after one farm woman got her electric kitchen soon enough every woman in the town wanted one too. In addition to that I did an accompanying oral history research project with my own grandmother because I found out that she also grew up on a farm without electricity. So finding that personal connection really helped me to see more into what life was like for a woman growing up back then. Would you say that then getting an electric version of those things was able to save a lot of time? Oh gosh, oh, there's just no, there's just absolutely no question that electricity totally changed our lives. The things that we were learning in Story Plus about how to analyze somebody's own personal story and own personal life or materials from their life is so important to be able to have a perspective of, you know, not just society as a whole, but also the individual. All of these aspects that happen in history or in the modern day, they all have a real personal impact on people's lives. That is something that I've learned from Story Plus.